Tilly tally tooly tally. Tilly tally tooly tally. <clears throat> How's it going, everybody? I am the Crispy Critic, and today we're going to be reviewing a strange kind of movie. It's a comedy out of Iceland called Rams. I went into Rams not knowing anything. I didn't even read the description that was on Netflix. I had to I had to stop it about 30 minutes in because I knew it was a comedy and I felt like comedy was happening in some kind of way. I mean, it's it's the desert dry kind of comedy. It's so dry, it's so bleak, it's so sad. <laughs> what I really liked about it was that the the director Grimur Hakanarsson made Iceland's empty interior which is where the movie is set, as much a character as the two brothers at the narrative center. The character Gummy and his hard-drinking brother Kitty. When the movie starts, they've been estranged for 40 years. They haven't spoken a word to each other, yet they're neighbors. And the only thing they have in common is how much they love their sheep. Disease starts sweeping through the whole herd, and it's called scrapey, which is an incurable nervous system disease that only affects sheep. It sweeps through the herds and the brothers find that they can't deal with that kind of plague alone. So I had to stop it and, and look up what, what Icelandic comedy is supposed to be like and what its focuses are. Um, and it turns out that Icelandic humor is some of the darkest shit out there. Because the country, and this was common in the medieval period, the country was hit with the Black Plague twice. The first time it hit, it killed 50-60% to 60 of the population. And the second time it hit, it killed 30-50% to 50 of the population. And during the Reformation, in the 18th century, pirate raids were commonplace. The people who did stay, one-third of them were killed by a smallpox epidemic not long after, and there was a huge volcanic eruption that led to a period in Iceland's history called the Mist Hardship. Uh, half of all the country's livestock was killed, and the ensuing famine took out another quarter of the people. They were the poorest country in Europe at the time, and they just got fucked over. It's no wonder, then, in my mind, that Rams is barely a comedy by American standards. And uh, by the time Kitty is introduced, the, the movie's central conceit is clear, right? The title Rams isn't referring to the Rams themselves, it's referring to the brothers, because they always butt heads. The metaphor of the Rams is, like, it's super on the nose, and since the brothers' backstory is explored only pretty vaguely, their relationship in general feels oversimplified. So their arcs don't have that kind of cathartic quality that the director ends up attributing to them. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, because everything leading up to what feels like a rushed conclusion is great. It, the acting is spot on. It is the deadest of deadpan movies, man. And it sneaks up on you. And that, that stealth, the, the stealthy quality of the gags make the movie all the more hilarious. <laughs> the funniest moment in the movie really shouldn't be that funny, but there's there's something about the, the, the specific way Hakan Arson frames the gag. It hits in a really deep place, and I don't really know why. Rams really holds the viewer up to an emptiness that not a lot of American viewers may be accustomed to, even though American cinema has its fair share of open and wide kind of films. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to give Rams a, a 4 out of 5. It's on Netflix right now. If you're looking for a dark dark fucking comedy. This is the movie for you. After all, if you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss will gaze back into you, so why not laugh at it? I am the Crispy Critic, and thank you guys very much for watching this review. See you next week.